What is up guys and welcome back to my Rugby Away World League with the Lions and we go straight on into a game and we're playing Claremont in this game and last episode if you didn't see we did win a game by a bonus point I'm not going to tell you the score just in case you haven't seen it and it was a cracker but to start off with I do get the ball in the second minute I do a nice drop goal just to get them three points ahead just to start the game and that's a this no this will be a kind of theme from Claremont today. Just three points, just saying that. But then we do go and score with Pretorius. A great try from him. Last episode, he nearly cost us the game. So so him doing well this episode is very good. Because obviously last episode he could have potentially lost us that last game with some awful things. And so seven seven to three up, thirty four minutes. Not really too much happened in this first half. A try and a penalty. Sorry, a try and a drop goal. But then Gonzalo Canale nearly gets in. And they actually decide to go for another drop goal. And that makes it 7-6, about 32 minutes in. And then 33rd minute, they go for another drop goal. And that makes it 9-7. So they've actually gained the lead from without actually scoring any tries. So that was the half-time score, was 9-7. Um, and I was just hoping in the second half I could do a bit better and hopefully get on top. But I started off doing a little chip kick, which worked last episode. But this episode, this went and happened. And they counter-attacked and they scored. So, um, that that's Rougerie, by the way. But they I don't know why they don't have his actual name. Because I don't think Claremont are licensed or something like that. But that's Stephen Jones as well. But he has his actual name. I'm not sure. But... Oh, yeah, they go and score, and then um, Stephen Jones does get the conversion as well. So we're down 16-7, to 7, about 45 minutes in. But then Davis does a great run from scrum half and just misses, just doesn't get over the line. And then Stephen Jones clears it, but only goes not even, like, just out, to be honest, just out. But then we do a nice long throw to the back of the line out, and our number eight goes in. And that really helped us there because we really needed that. And that will make it 16-12 with a conversion to come. And Heffler was not on brilliant kicking form today. This one just hits the post. And there's another one later in the video which you'll see which is even better. So, so obviously we're, we're still down four points. And we really need to try and get back into this game. Awful passing from Davis there. But lucky that we still got the ball back there. And um, I accidentally put... Heffler in the pocket there. I didn't mean to do that, but it does actually work out very well with, Pistor with Pistorius getting through the gap and then passing to O'Leary, who then runs pretty much half the length of the pitch and then goes and scores. So that really helped us out because we are now one point ahead with a conversion to come, and we obviously and this this is what I was talking about by his conversions were a bit shaky today, where does a nice kick. You think, oh, it's going to hit the post, it's going to go out. It hits the post, hits the crossbar, and goes over. And I'll just show you that again on instant replay. And <laughs> post and crossbar. I've I've never actually seen that in rugby away. And I've played quite a few games since I was like 10. So, <laughs> off the crossbar and goes over. So that was, I'll say it's a bit lucky, let's be honest. But we're still up by three points at the moment. And um, they do go down the blind side, break a tackle. And then the hooker steps the fullback. And I, I think, I just think, how can you be stepped by a hooker? He's not scored Brits, is he? He's not got an incredible step, and I've never even heard of him. So I don't know how you can get stepped by a hooker. Anyway, so Stephen Jones does convert, and they go up 23-19. So 66 minutes in, we're looking on the down. But they do do a high tackle, and I decide to go for the corner. And what happened last time when we did this? Um, we got a five-metre line out. We went to the back. And I was hoping that if we gave that another go, see if that would work again, then we could score another try from it. So what I do, go straight to the back, and they don't mark it. And the number eight goes in again and scores his second try of the game. And that helps us again, because that will put us up by one point now. And with the conversion to come, which Heffler actually consistently <laughs> actually gets over this time, with it actually going between the posts without hitting anything, which is nice. <laughs> so up by three points. 12 minutes to go. Heffler, great play. Nawal lead the gas man. Can he score? Does a little chip. Doesn't really work. But then Danielli then brings it back. Good tackle. 
and then we have a really good counter-attack opportunity because they do not have some players out wide. And Pistorius literally just gets the ball and just runs half the length of the pitch and then scores. And this is it's brilliant to see Pistorius back on good form because last episode he did not look good. So that brings us ahead again. So we're up by, f by uh, nine points now. No, it wasn't nine, but whatever. So... <laughs> Go back in, and obviously Heffler does get the kick because he's actually in front of the post. So, without hitting anything as well, so it's brilliant. Anyway, so, five minutes to go. Can something change? A bit laggy there, I'm not sure why. But then Dam Yelly breaks through and just can't tackle him, and then Rougerie scores his second of the game. So, that puts them, if they get the conversion, that puts them within three. So, potentially the last few minutes could be a bit nervy. So, we need to make sure that we now don't concede and we just survive this game now. But, very luckily, they did have a nice break. But, we did shut it down and then we were able to pass it and then clear it out into touch. And we won the game with 33-30. So, that's another bonus point for us, which is brilliant. So... We've now two wins out of two with two bonus points in the league. So that's a great start to the league. And if you have enjoyed this episode, please do give it a like. There will be more coming soon. And thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.